Our favorite, Mike Tyson, is going through some tough times right now as he's facing a couple of health issues. Now, we know this isn't something any of us wanted to hear, but the boxer's pretty calm about the situation. If you're among the people upset about the chaotic situation, sit tight as we brief you on all that happened. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with Tyson's health. Seeing the boxing superstar Mike Tyson in a wheelchair at Miami International Airport on August 16th has worried his followers. It's speculated that Tyson's sciatica flare-up in his lower back is to blame for his inability to stand and pose for selfies with his adoring fans while confined to a wheelchair. The former heavyweight champion was incapacitated for two years after a similar flare-up. Even though the boxing legend warned that his expiration date was getting closer, he was seen at the airport mere weeks later. This man was was seen using a cane in public for the first time on camera last month in New York outside of a hotel. Moving on, here's what he said about his health. Fans were worried about Mike Tyson's health when he made some introspective statements on a podcast just weeks before he was seen using a wheelchair. The 56-year-old revealed to therapist Sean McFarlane on his podcast Hotboxing with Mike Tyson that he sensed death approaching. He said, we're all gonna die one day, of course. He also added that then, when he looks in the mirror, he sees those little spots on his face. He says, wow, that means my expiration date is coming close, really soon. Not to forget, some details about his sciatica. An anonymous insider downplayed the photos, telling TMZ, a bout of sciatica has just started acting up again. There were no major problems. It's just part of Mike's job as an athlete. Tyson has acknowledged to Newsmax TV that the wheelchair was necessary due to his sciatica, saying that he had sciatica and that it tends to flare up every now and then. It was so bad that he said he couldn't even talk when it flared up. But being a kind spirit, he said thank God it's his only health problem. He also added that he He's splendid now. Everybody in his house is truly blessed, and they're all very grateful for what they have. It's not very uncommon, as people between the ages of 30 and 50 have the highest prevalence of developing sciatica, a painful back ailment. The sciatic nerve, one which moves from the lower back to the feet, may experience a sharp ache. UFC greats Cain Velasquez and Anderson Silva are just two of many competitors who have struggled with the same issue. Next up, he's been suffering for quite a while now. In case you missed the initial uproar, Mike Tyson was pictured with a cane a couple of months ago. Even though he may have looked like he was hurt, the boxing great seems to be well. TMZ Sports reports that Tyson is not nursing any fresh wounds, but rather is experiencing regular wear and tear issues. Now, we know that they did try to downplay it. Hope he gets well soon. Not to mention, he also had some insights about boxing in this age. Tyson made fame in boxing, but he recently revealed that he doesn't follow the sport much anymore. The heavyweight great has recently taken up watching tennis and golf, although he jokes that he isn't very good at either. He said tennis was his favorite sport to watch on TV, beating even fighting. Sports like tennis and golf are popular. Before seeing it in person, he believed golf was a terrible sport, but now he loves it. A golf club once slipped out of his grasp as he swung at the ball. He's also changed his preferred sport from tennis to baseball, despite the fact that he's not very good at either. Up next, he also talked about some complaints. His health isn't the only thing weighing on him. Lots of things in his environment are also taking their toll on his mental health. Tyson's been fighting with the streaming site Hulu for the last several weeks because they reportedly made a series on his life without asking for or providing any kind of pay to him. Tyson took to Twitter to call out Hulu, accusing the streaming service of basing their portrayal of his life on a slave master takes over the narrative. First, Tyson took to Instagram to express his gratitude to UFC president and buddy Dana White for passing on the opportunity to fight Mike. Apparently, Hulu was so keen to promote their slave master take over fiction about his life that they offered millions to his brother Dana White without giving Tyson a single penny. According to Mike, Dana declined because he values friendship and respecting others' worth. Now, in other news. First off, Mike Tyson unimpressed by Jake Paul. Mike Tyson is a boxing genius and one of the best heavyweights of all time. You can tell he's a true boxing fan by tuning in to one of his discussions about the sport's past. Because of what he learned from his first instructor, Tyson is well-versed in warriors who are now mostly forgotten. We're talking about you, Customato. That guy kept Mike Tyson out of a life of crime that would have landed him in jail.
jail or worse. So if you really, really want to know whether someone's any good, watch how Tyson reacts to them fighting. With just a couple of years of experience as a boxer, Jake Paul's already looking at offers to face off against seasoned pros. From the time of his second fight on the night Mike Tyson faced Roy Jones Jr., he has done very well. Fight Hype claims that the fight took place at Freddie Roach's wildcard facility in Los Angeles. Keep in mind that he's a boxing expert. Thus, he talked about the occasion when boxing legend Mike Tyson was touring the famed gym. According to Roach, Tyson stared at him and fled. A 30-second clip of him fighting was all he needed to hear him ask, Freddie, can we go down and view the pictures? He's been there and seen that's where the action is. He said that the team was okay. He was a club fighter. He also added, I can't say I've ever met him or even even spoken to him before. He asked if they could use the ring while he was in my gym and I gave them permission. Next, Mike is under fire for cozying up to a youngster. The famous world heavyweight champion Tyson was a true blue ladies man during his younger days. The man later changed himself to become a devoted husband and father. But a recent picture posted by a female fan has intrigued fans. You'd think he's been having a great time in his boxing career, but his personal life has been no short of a party either. Now, before we head into the details, details of this saucy photo, let's take a trip down memory lane to look at his personal relations up till now. Three times is the lucky number for Tyson's marriages. From February 7th, 1988 to February 14th, 1989, he married actress Robin Givens. In 1997, Tyson tied the knot with Monica Turner. However, this union did not last and the couple divorced in 2003. Meanwhile, this father of seven left fans curious when a female admirer recently tweeted a photo of them together. A Twitter user by the name of Shady Bangs shared a photo of herself with Tyson after the two had met at a party. Boxing fans were concerned that the duo seemed too romantic in their hug. The photo of Mike Tyson with the girl fan startled boxing enthusiasts, so much so that they went to online platforms to express their views on the matter. One user was quick to point out that Tyson looks like he's in love with the female fan. Another user mentioned that Tyson looked like a sugar daddy in the picture. However, one user begs to differ. The person went on to mention that Tyson gave out the cool uncle or fatherly vibes. Finally, Jake Paul is up for a potential crown appearance. Logan Paul may not go to Crown Jewel alone. As previously mentioned, Roman Reigns will defend his undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Logan at Crown Jewel on November 5th. After hosting Reigns on his podcast Impulsive, Logan has set up this match. Jake Paul, Logan's brother, tweeted that he may have to go to Saudi Arabia for the championship event. He watched as Logan and The Miz beat Rey and Dominic Mysterio in a tag team battle at WrestleMania 38. On Twitter, he said that the sky's the limit for Logan. After just two bouts, he's already eyeing the WWE Championship. Possibly, he'll have to go to Saudi Arabia. Logan did tweet back to his brother, mentioning that his fight comes a week after Jake knocks out Silva. On October 29th, Jake will engage in a professional eight-round boxing bout against Anderson Silva, a former UFC middleweight champion. The night of September 16th SmackDown, Jake retweeted a video of his brother in the ring with Paul Heyman and commented, No offense, Heyman, but Logan would KO your kid Roman Reigns easily. On June 30th, Logan signed a multi-match deal with WWE. Since then, one of his most notable matchups has been his victory against The Miz at SummerSlam. That's a wrap for this video. Were you as scared as we were at his comments? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.